This is a film about breaking records, about seeing how low we can go in abusing bibliometrics. In this case, the world record is the lowest Erdős Bacon Sabbath number achievable. Now, if you think that engineers are boring, you don't know any engineers. We do things that are fun just because we can. And in this case, we can get the lowest possible Erdős Bacon Sabbath number that there is today. It's the world record. Now, what is an Erdős Bacon Sabbath number? Let me explain it to you. I'm Mary Shaw. I'm a professor of computer science at Carnegie Mellon University. Paul Erdős was an amazingly prolific mathematician who did groundbreaking work in many areas. Uh, he co-authored papers with over 500 collaborators, and he wrote over 1,500 papers. His style was to move from one institution to another, collaborating uh, with people at each institution, and then moving on to collaborate with others. Because of this widespread collaboration and the network that was established from it, he is treated as the center of the, the mathematical universe. Uh, we count the proximity to Erdős as the Erdős number, so Paul Erdős's number was zero. Um, his collaborators, all 500 plus of them, have Erdős numbers of one, and we count one out from there. Hi, I'm Maria Clave. I'm the president of Harvard Med College, and I also have an Erdős number of one. I've met Erdős many times while he was alive, but the way this paper came about was that Frank Harari, who was a graph theorist at Michigan at the time, came to give a talk at Oakland University, which is where I had my first academic appointment. And he talked about the answer to a problem that Erdős had told him when he was riding in the back seat of a car with Erdős in Australia. And in the middle of that night, I thought about the result and realized it was wrong. And I managed to correct it, and I got in touch with Harari the next day and pointed this out, and he said, fine, we'll write a paper together. And so that's how I, how I have an Erdős Harari Clave paper published in 1979. Six Degrees of Separation postulates that any human being is separated from any other human being on the entire planet by at most six degrees of relationship distance. Now, Kevin Bacon was a prolific actor, so six degrees of Kevin Bacon say that any actor is separated from Kevin Bacon by at most six films. If you are Kevin Bacon, you have number zero. If you're in a film with Kevin Bacon, you have a Bacon number of one. If you're in a film with somebody who has a Bacon number of one, your Bacon number is two, and so on. Those are Bacon numbers. So a thought came to me. Could I get a Bacon number of one simply by splicing in segments of Kevin Bacon from other films into my film? Oh, no, no, no. 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 Why would I even think that? Oh, come on, please. Don't do this. You're better than this. Fine. Hi, I'm Mike Ankus. I'm a filmmaker, and I was just in a film with Tom Hanks called A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, shot right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I'm sure you remember that Tom Hanks was in this film called Apollo 13 with Kevin Bacon. So that means I have a Bacon number of two. Hi, I'm Daniel Klein. I'm a software engineer at Google, and I was in a film called Help Me Help You with Steve Gutenberg. Steve Gutenberg was in a film called Diner with Kevin Bacon, and so that gives me a Bacon number of two. Which brings us to Sabbath numbers. Sabbath numbers are shared musical performances or recordings to a member of Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath has had varying membership over the years. It's between 25 and 42, depending on how you count. And some of the members of Black Sabbath have been constants, like Tommy Yomi. My name is Augie Fackler, and I have a Sabbath number of three, because I've performed in orchestras with my father, D.K. Fackler, who was in the orchestra for the Chicago stop of a Roger Daltrey tour. And Roger Daltrey is a member of The Who, and The Who have played with Black Sabbath during Live Aid in 1985. Back in 1971, I was living in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. I was 17 years old, and a group of friends and I, we formed a band called the Rubber Band. Yeah, I know, it gets worse. Um, the five of us wore matching gold jumpsuits that were made for us by my dad. It was cool, maybe. 
Later that summer, our band was part of a small music festival in northeastern Pennsylvania. There were a bunch of bands that were there. Um, but the uh, headliner was a band called The Elves. Now, the lead singer and bass player for The Elves turned out to be Ronnie James Dio. No one had ever heard of The Elves or Dio at that point. And in 1979, Dio replaced Ozzy Osbourne as the lead singer of Black Sabbath. That gives me a Sabbath number of one. Your Erdős bacon Sabbath number is the sum of your Erdős, your bacon, and your Sabbath number. Because Paul Erdős is dead, the minimum achievable Erdős bacon Sabbath number is two. The only way that is achievable is if Kevin Bacon were to join Black Sabbath and author a paper with somebody with an Erdős number of one. Practically speaking, the number's a little bit higher than that. So, to qualify for an Erdős number, we've published this paper in Sigbovic. For the Bacon number, we have this documentary. And for the Sabbath number, we need music. I'm Sarah Allen. You may recognize me as Sigbovic's 2015 program chair. I also have a math minor, so let's do the math. To recap, Dr. Clave collaborated on a paper with Paul Erdos, which gives her an Erdos number of one. All the other authors who collaborated with Dr. Clave therefore get an Erdos number of two. Daniel Klein acted in a movie with Steve Gutenberg, who acted in a movie with Kevin Bacon, so that gives Daniel a Bacon number of two. All of the other characters associated with this documentary therefore get a Bacon number of three. Mike Ankus acted in a movie with Tom Hanks, who acted in a movie with Kevin Bacon, which gives Mike a Bacon number of two. Mike also performed with the Bloomsburg PA band, The Rubber Band, which performed as a warm-up act for Ronnie James Dio, who later became a member of Black Sabbath. So Mike has a Sabbath number of one, and any musician who performs or records with Mike gets a Sabbath number of two. By the mighty power of arithmetic, Dr. Clave, who had an Erdos number of one, now also has a Bacon number of three and a Sabbath number of two, so her Erdos Bacon Sabbath number is therefore six. Daniel Klein had bacon numbers of two, and now has an Erdos number of two, and a Sabbath number of two, so his EBS number is six, and he and Dr. Clave briefly tie for the world record. But Mike Ankish already had a Sabbath number of one, and bacon numbers of two, and now has an Erdos number of two, so he is now the world record holder of EBS number five. Every other co-author, actor, or musician in this whole mess now has an Erdos number of two, a bacon number of three, and a Sabbath number of two, so they have an EBS number of seven, which, until the documentary, was the previous world record. And there you have it, creating a tiny Erdos bacon Sabbath number for fun. And we all get some pretty cool bragging rights. <laughs>